Hi, it's Emma Nagel. So today I'm going to do my NYX Face Awards 2015 contest entry. So I'm doing this look. So not only am I doing this makeup tutorial, I'm also going to show you six different ways that you can use your jumbo pencils. I have a uh, milk and black bean. But um, yeah, this is today's look. It's just a very dramatic gold and black smoky eye. And I'm also using my NYX eyeliner in Glitzy Gold. So um, the NYX Face Awards contest is only open for um, US citizens. And since I'm not a US citizen, I do live in Denmark, um, I can't really officially enter the contest. But I thought I would still do, you know, kind of a fun video with my NYX products and, you know, show you some different ways that I use them. And, you know, just do a tutorial kind of inspired by the whole NYX Face Awards um, contest. And also, I just quickly wanted to mention that, of course, to keep with kind of the gold theme with my headpiece and my eyeshadow, I'm also wearing um, gold nail polish. I'm wearing this color. It's by a brand called Ciate. I think that's how you pronounce it. And this color is called Ladylike Luxe. So it's a really pretty gold color. I'm in love with this. So yeah, I don't think I have much else to say. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like this um, look. And watch in high definition um, to make everything much clearer. Oh yeah, and by the way, this is another affordable makeup tutorial. I'm using all affordable slash drugstore makeup in this video. So yeah, that is all. So um... If you want to see this look, then um, here comes the tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to start out with my Essence All About Matte Face Primer. So then I'm going to do my foundation. I'm going to use the matching foundation, which is Essence All About Matte Foundation. I have the lightest color. So I'm going to use this sponge today. And I use the big end for my foundation because it covers a larger area. But then for my nose, I use the pointed tip just to make sure I can get around it real good. Because this is more of a medium coverage um, foundation, I am going to do another layer. So then with all of this foundation on, I'm going to do some concealing of my under eye circles. I'm going to first use my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the color Neutralizer. And I just used a tiny bit of that. And I used the a pointed end of my sponge to blend this out. And then to conceal, I'm going to use my... Um, Born Pretty Star Concealer. And if you guys saw my last first impression makeup tutorial, then you would have seen this concealer. And I have been loving it ever since I did that video. And I blend that out with the same sponge. So before I go ahead and set um, all my foundation and concealers, I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk. It's a matte white. And normally you would use this on your eyes, but you can actually use this as a highlighter if you have very fair skin like I do. So you can use this to highlight your cheeks and your cupid's bow and stuff like that. So let's do that. So I apply it right here on the top of my cheekbone. And then I blend it out with my finger. And down in the down bar I will link, um, you know, the page where I found out about this trick. So there you have the highlight. So I'm just going to do the other cheek real quick. And I'm going to do the cubit's bow. So that's a way you can use um, the NYX Jumbo Pencil in, in Milk if you have a light skin tone like me. So of course you have to set that um, NYX Jumbo Pencil. So I'm going to use my white powder from Born Pretty Store. And I'm just going to use my Born Pretty Store powder brush. And just go ahead and set that. And for underneath my eyes, I'm going to mix my regular powder with the white powder. 
And then on the rest of my face, I'm just going to use the Skin Tone Powder alone. And since my um, foundation is not a complete perfect mats, uh, match to my skin tone, I did apply some foundation on my ears and on my neck. So I'm going to set that foundation as well. So now I'm just going to remove all the foundation and powder on my lips. And then I'm just going to use this um, Baby Lips from Maybelline. It's just a clear one. And I'm just going to use this to moisturize my lips because my lips are dry. So to contour, I'm going to use my New York Color Sunny Bronzer. So I'm starting out with my nose. And then I go ahead and contour my cheekbones. Then I go ahead and blend my contour out. Okay, so to put some color back into my face, I'm going to use my Milani Baked Bronzer in the color Glow. And I'm just going to use my e.l.f. Studio Blush Brush. And I'm just applying this like a blush. So right on the apple and blending backwards. So now I'm going to go ahead and do these eyebrows and I'm going to use my e.l.f. Studio Eyebrow Kit today. My color is in ash so I'm going to use uh, my Eco Tools angled brush and the wax but of course first I'm going to brush through my eyebrows. I'm just using my brow comb from Born Pretty Store and then I go ahead and use the wax. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the powder and I'm going to use this to set the wax. And then I take my Born Pretty Store Eyebrow Gel in the color 03 and I just use this to set my eyebrows. Okay, so once we're done with all the boring but necessary steps, we can go on to what's really funny funny fun and the fun thing is of course the eyeshadows or the eye makeup should I say so this is of course way number two and way number three that you can use your next jumbo pencils you can use them as eyeshadow bases so I have a uh, milk that I use to highlight and I also have black bean which is just a matte black color and because I'm going to do a gold smoky eye I'm also going to use my NYX um, slide on eyeliner in the color glitzy gold kind of matches my nail polish so I'm going to use my milk pencil first and you're going to apply the milk pencil wherever you want um, you know a highlight color or a light color to be so of course that would be on the brow bone so right there and in the inner corner and that's basically where I want my light colors to be. So I go ahead and do the other eyebrow, um, I mean brow bone, and the other inner corner. And then with my finger I'm going to blend this out. And I'll just use kind of padding motions to blend out the base. Then I'm going to take my black bean and I'm going to apply this wherever I want my dark colors to be. And that's basically right here in the outer corner. And maybe a little bit into the crease. So something like that and I blend this out as well and then the same on the other eye and again I just use padding motions and then I'm going to use my gold eyeliner wherever I want my um, gold eyeshadows to be so that will be right here on the eyelid and then I blend that into the other two eye bases and the same with the other eye and I blend that out as well. And once you have your bases down, you're basically ready to do your um, eyeshadows. And the great thing about bases is that they really make sure that your eyeshadows um, pop and are very, very vibrant. So of course you need three matching um, eyeshadows to your uh, eyesh um, eyeshadow bases. 
So I'm going to use my Sleek Acid palette and I'm going to use the matte white and the matte black. And then I'm going to use this gold color. So I start out with my gold eyeshadow and I just pack it right on top of the gold base. And as you can see, this just gives a very, very vibrant gold color. And then I use the blending eyeshadow brush and the matte black. And of course I use that on top of the black base. And then I mix the gold and the black and use that to blend out the upper edge of the black eyeshadow. And this is a lot about, you know, going back and forth with each eyeshadow to make sure it blends perfectly. And then I do the other eye. Okay, so once I have my black and my gold on, I'm going to take the white and I'm of course going to apply that over the top of the white base. So I'm going to place it first and then I'm going to blend later. So once I have it placed, I'm going to go ahead and blend. So now we are basically done with the eyeshadows on the upper eyelid. So now we are going to do eyeshadow bases on the lower eyelid. So I'm going to go ahead and take my white eye base again and apply it right here in the inner third. And I'm going to blend that out with my finger. Then I'm going to take my gold eye base and I'm going to apply that right here in the middle. And then I blend this out with my finger again. And then lastly I use my black base in the outer third. And once again I blend that out with my finger. And then we just do as before. We set the bases with the, um, you know, with the eyeshadow, with the matching eyeshadow. So I'm going to start out with the white on top of the white base. And then I'm going to do my gold. And then lastly I'm going to do the black. So now I'm going to show you the fourth way that you can use your NYX Jumbo Pencil. You can of course use this as a water liner. So you could either go for the white or the black. I want kind of a smoky dark dramatic look so I'm going to use the black. So I'm just going to pop that right on my waterline. And now I'm going to show you the fifth way to use your um, NYX Jumbo Pencil. You can use this as an upper um, eyelid liner. So I just use small motions and I try to get as close to the last line as possible. And then I use a small stiff eyeshadow brush. This one is from e.l.f. just to smudge it out. So the same on the other eye. And this is a very simple and easy way to do eyeliner. So now I'm going to curl with Shiromora's eyelash color. And then for mascara, I'm going to use my gosh, Show Me Volume. And I am going to apply falsies, so you know. I'm just going to do one little coat. So for falsies today, I'm going to use my Kiss Beyond Natural in 03. And because we do not have any, you know, liquid eyeliner on, it's very important that you get as close to your natural lashes as possible. Because it will be very obvious if you don't. And also part of the reason why I'm using these lashes from Kiss um, is because they have a very thin lash band. And that's great if you don't have on, you know, a very precise liquid eyeliner. So with my falsies on, I'm just going to do a little bit of bottom lash mascara. So for lips, I'm going to use my Willow Color Icon Lip Liner from Wet n Wild. And I'm just going to line my lips with this. For lipstick, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Essentials lipstick in the color Fantasy. And now I'm going to show you the last way that you can use your NYX Jumbo Pencil. 
And um, that is by taking your milk um, jumper pencil and applying it right in the center of your lip. So let me show you. So that's a really easy way to do kind of the gradient lip, the kind of ombre lip. And it's also a great way to lighten up any very dark lipstick. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So I just put on my headpiece, and I know this is the same headpiece that I also used in my last tutorial. But um, I'm loving the headpiece right now, and it matches, you know, the gold of the eyes, the gold on my nails. So I thought it was appropriate to wear it again. But yeah, anyways, that's it. I hope you guys liked my NYX Face Awards entry for 2015. And of course, um, I would really appreciate it if you would give my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. So take care and bye-bye.